हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू एवर शाइन कोचिंग सेंटर माई सेल्फ शाह फैसल टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस द चैप्टर क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन इज इज क्लियर लेट बिगिन इन दिस क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन आई एम गोइंग टू कवर द टॉपिक्स दट इज इंट्रोडक्शन मीन्स the origination of quadratic equation so which are the types of quadratic equations we have got means i mean classification of quadratic equation and we are going to solve some basic problems related to quadratic equation and then we are going to check whether the given equation is quadratic equation or not next we are going to solve the equation means we are finding the roots we are going to find the roots that is solving the equation by using different methods such as factorization method completing the square method and then formula method so these are the three methods which we are going to use to solve the quadratic equation done next we are going to discuss the nature of the roots so uh what is the nature now we get the roots we get the answer one equation if we solve we get two answers is it not in polynomials we call that as zeros of the polynomial here we call it as roots of the equation understood now what is the nature if it means if the root answer is greater than 0 if the answer what we have got the root if it is greater than 0 what we call that as what is that nature called as and how it looks in the graph how it looks we are going to study about that in detail next we are going to solve some condition problems on nature of the roots we are going to solve some conditional problems i'll let you know what does it mean now children remember the condition based problems on this topic and practical application problems which we are going to use in our daily life that is practical application problems are you getting my point may be related to time time factor may be related to volume factor may be related to age factor are you getting my point so like that we have got different ways we can expect different ways of problems those problems may be not there in the textbook but still you people want to study some external things some extra materials you need to refer to collect those questions so here you no need to collect any those uh, kind of questions here we have done Uh, some research we have done some certain research and we have made the questions so only thing is you people want to see and study that that's it done good now let we begin the chapter quadratic equation this session is only introduction of this chapter only we are just introducing which are the formulas how we are supposed to write the formula that we are going to discuss in this topic in this session done look at here children now we are going to start the basic of this chapter quadratic equation we classify this topic into th three ways one is linear equation pure quadratic equation and then affected quadratic equation linear equation pure quadratic equation and affected quadratic equation now the question is what is linear equation what is linear equation linear equation is nothing but an equation which involves a variable whose highest degree is 1 same thing we have discussed in polynomial linear polynomial understood if the highest power of the equation if the highest power is 1 is called as linear polynomial similarly what is pure uh, sorry linear equation if the highest degree is 1 is called as linear equation pure quadratic equation pure pure means what only two an equation which involves a variable whose highest degree is only two is called as pure quadratic equation affected quadratic equation an equation which involves a variable whose highest degree is both 1 and 2 is called as affected quadratic equation now standard form of linear equation ax plus c is equals to 0 where a is coefficient x is variable and c is constant standard form of pure quadratic equation we can see here the standard form of pure quadratic equation that is ax square plus c is equals to 0 the standard form of affected quadratic equation that is ax square plus bx plus c is equals to 0 done 
Now the question is, you may get a question that is very 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 important question. They may ask you to write the standard form of quadratic equation. Remember, attracted quadratic equation is also called as, or it's all, it is also known as quadratic equation. Attracted quadratic equation is also known as quadratic equation. Done? And we have given some examples here children. So you can see here. Example like 2x plus 3 is equals to 0. 4x minus 6 is equals to 0. We can see here the power of x is 1. So it is linear equation. Here we can see the power of x is only 2. So it is pure quadratic equation. Here we can see the power is both 2 and 1. Can you see here? Both 2 and 1. Understood? Here sir it is 1 no sir. There is no 2. P plus 1 by P is equals to 2. See children, as soon you see the figure, I mean as soon you see the problem, you should not uh, tell that which type of equation. Because still it is not there in its standard form. First you convert that into its standard form. Take LCM, cross multiply, then you simplify, convert that equation into the form of AX square plus BX plus C is equals to 0. Convert in the form of second degree, first degree, constant is equals to 0. Then you need to decide which type of equation is that. Got it? Now we can see here, it has how many roots? It has two roots. In this, power is 1, so it has one root. Power is 2, it has two roots. Power is highest power, highest degree is 2, so it is also having two roots. So it is also known as quadratic equation. Attracted quadratic equation is also known as quadratic equation. Now we see certain note, some important points. Let me see, what is that? See children, some important note here. As I have mentioned in the beginning, what is the standard form of quadratic equation? That is ax square plus bx plus c is equals to 0. That is the standard form of quadratic equation. Here you people can expect one theory question also. Like they may ask you to write the difference between linear equation and pure quadratic equation. Sometimes linear equation and quadratic equation. What is the difference? Write the differences between linear equation and quadratic equation. Question number 1. Linear equation and quadratic equation means affected quadratic equation. One more, write the difference between pure quadratic equation and affected quadratic equation. You can expect the question like this also. And next question is standard form of quadratic equation. Now we are going to use the formula. Formula which is used to find the roots of the quadratic equation. So what is the formula? x is equals to minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac by 2 a. This is the formula that is called as quadratic formula. Quadratic formula. Which we are going to use to find the roots or to solve the equation. Done. Next topic is discriminant. Here we use the word discriminant. So what is the discriminant of the quadratic equation? That is b square minus 4ac. The discriminant of the quadratic equation is b square minus 4ac. Now the question is sir what is discriminant? Discriminant is nothing but we are getting the roots. Those roots are depending upon the value of b square minus 4ac. Understood? Whatever the answer, we say that for us, heart is the main system. Without heart, can we live? No. Yes or no? So, heart is the main point. Understood? Here also, in this quadratic equation, if you want to find the roots, who is the heart? b square minus 4ac is the heart. Understood? This value will decide. This value will Decide b square minus 4ac substitute abc values. See this value will decide understood what should be the answer. So the roots of the quadratic equation depends on upon discriminant. Roots of the quadratic equation depends upon discriminant that means b square minus 4ac. Some people will denote by the symbol triangle. It is not triangle this is called as delta d e l t a delta and it is also denoted by the symbol d. Next is nature of the roots. Now here we classify the nature of the roots into three categories. Which are those? That is discriminant means b square minus 4ac and the nature of it. If delta is greater than 0, we call roots are real and distinct. If delta is less than 0, we call roots are imaginary. If it is equals to 0, then roots are equal. Real and equal. Graphical representation greater than 0 means you can see it is coming above x axis. Because the values are greater than 0. If it is less than 0, the values are coming in the imaginary part. It comes towards negative side. If delta is equals to 0, it touches the x-axis. I mean the parabola. This is called as parabola. This is nothing but parabola curve. Got it? So this parabola 
it is touching x axis means equal to 0 if it is above x axis greater than 0 if it is below x axis then it is called as less than 0 even though you people can expect for one mark from this graph also they may give the graph and they may ask you to write the nature of it simple you should say it is greater than 0 or less than 0 or equal to 0 easily you people can identify so please don't forget to subscribe like and share this video and click the bell icon so that you people can get the latest videos understood shortly i will be releasing the next videos also you people will get the update of it you will get the notification so don't miss any of the classes and please you can watch the second video in second video i am going to start up the numericals of this chapter thank you wish you all the best of you